Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Faith first and foremost, we all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the Rock with us. The double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the whole four elect, 144,000, and the one third men with children in that order. This is Shemar Yahweh with the Great Millstone chapter in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And this video is going to be um, dealing with um, Easter. Um, <clears throat> the title of this video will be um, Easter is uh, not biblical. Uh, the, the pagan holiday Easter is not biblical uh, for uh, a few reasons. Um, uh, first and foremost, um, it doesn't line up uh, with scriptures. Uh, it doesn't line up um, uh, in, in, in the, the amount of days that uh, it represents because, um, you know, you, you have on so-called Good Friday and then um, Easter Sunday. And if um, the Lord, from his death to his resurrection, that wouldn't constitute uh, the three days. Okay, and so I'm going to read um, this, uh, there's this article that I have found online. Um, hold on. This is uh, reallife.goalsee.com. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to read some of this right here. I'm gonna grab some scriptures um, and just you know just really just hit it on the head right away. Um, Lord willing, you're edified through this uh, this video. Uh, it says what the Bible says. It says in many streams of Christianity, Easter is even more important than Christmas. You know, so these are two basic holidays that pagan holidays that uh, you know that are um, celebrated um, by these. Uh, these, these uh, pagan and these, these heathen um, heathenistic people. It says, why? Because it celebrates, I'm going to read it verbatim, Jesus, um, divinity, and the purpose of his coming to the earth. The Easter holiday commemorates Jesus' resurrection from the dead and his, per his promise of eternal life to all who believe in him. Okay? And I'm going to... Um, Scroll down. Uh, to Salakia, right here. It says for three days following his crucifixion. So this is so he's he's said to be crucified, and which is crazy because they call it Good Friday, right? And um, again, um, for those that are. Uh, new to this truth or new new to this page and don't know uh, that the name Jesus isn't the uh, correct name for uh, our Lord and Savior. His real, his actual name in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahawashai, which means he delivers. All right, and so you know, um, just like the name being changed, you know, um, just like. The introduction of uh, the letter J, I believe in the, um, in the 1600s, you know, kind of around that time of the, you know, in, in, you know the, the Renaissance area when they were changing so many things and the uh, iconoclasm and, you know, the, 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 the uh, you know, the covering of, uh, you know, a lot of the truth that um, at one point, you know, we, we knew. To, to get us to today to where you have uh, so many things that have been hidden, you know, and that have been um, uh, created. Um, matter of fact, let me do this real quick before I continue reading. But yeah, um, you know, so-called Good Friday represents the, the, the night that he was um, crucified, and then Sunday represents... The, the day that he, he rose, so it's Easter Sunday. But if you go from that Friday to Sunday, that's not three full days. So right then and there is a red flag to let you know that that's not right. That's not biblical. 
not to mention um, <clears throat> the calendar that Esau goes off of is the uh, Gregorian calendar. Okay? But, um, yeah. So let me grab this scripture real quick. I'm going to go to the Gregorian calendar and uh, go back into the uh, the article. Um, this is Isaiah 24 and 5. It says, The earth is also is the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances, broken the everlasting covenant. And so those ordinances, you go into the word ordinances, you know, and the laws, you know, they say change the laws and change the ordinances. In other words, you you've created your own timeline. You you created your own um understanding of uh time and and uh you know you've you've created your own holidays. You 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 you've really you, you, you turn everything upside down, so to speak. All right? It says ordinance, a piece of legislation enacted by who's an authority, an authoritative order, a decree, a right, an edict. Um, you know, the Lord had already put these orders out and made the decrees of how things are supposed to be, right? And um, you can find that uh, in Genesis. 1 and, 14, 1 and 14, I'm going to start there. It says, And the Most High said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And this is talking about the moon, talking about the, the sun. You know, and if, you, um, and if you're going off of the, uh, uh, the lunar calendar, then you go through the cycles of the moon to represent what um, uh, day of the the, the month? Because I think that that's what month uh, derived from is moon. Okay, it says, and let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And the Most High made two great lights: the greater light to rule the day, the sun, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made stars also, and the Most High set them in the firmament, the, the sky, or the heavens above us. And um, the Most High set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Okay? And so with that being said, you know, we go by the lunar calendar. And it says the lunar calendar is a calendar based on the monthly cycle, cycles of the moon's phases. Um, in contrast to solar calendars, whose annual cycles are based only on directly on the solar year. The most widely observed purely lunar calendar is the Islamic calendar. A purely lunar calendar is distinguished from a lunar solar calendar whose lunar months are brought into alignment with the solar year through the, the some process of intercalation, such as insertion of, of a leap month. The details of when months begin vary from calendar to calendar with some using new, full, or crescent moons, and others employing detailed calculations. So we use the we use the moon, the lunar moon system. That is because that's what the scriptures tell us to do. You know, we use the lunar moon system that that represents the new, full, or crescent. And you know, um, the new moon is when you, you you can't you can you can barely see it. You can you can't see it. And you know, when you have the crescent, you know, so you go through the cycle. It descends and it, uh, I forget the slack here, um, it decreases and it increases. So it goes down, it goes, it goes down and it goes back up. So you, you, you'll catch, um, matter of fact, let me see if I can grab something. Kind of give a depiction. Uh, moon cycle. Salaki, so bear with me.
Okay, so you go from the new moon to the waning crescent, third quarter, uh, the waning gibbous, full moon, the waxing gibbous, first quarter. Salaki, I went the wrong way. Salaki. So it's new moon, waxing, so waxing uh, crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, wanting gibbous, third quarter, to the wanting crescent, back to the new moon. And this cycle, this cycle represents our, uh, the months. And we, and then also represent when we celebrate, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the Sabbath, the Shabbat. It also helps us recognize when we're supposed to celebrate the Passover, you know, um, uh, and it also helps us to understand the beginning of the actual new year. And it's the, the new year is not January 1st. So a lot of things have been out of whack with this devil. Um, and, 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 it, and, it's, and it was spoken of in Daniel 7 and 25 when it, it says that he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand unto a time and times and a divided the time. So the Lord has allowed him to have this uh, this power over the earth for a limited time. All right. And we know that because in Job twenty nine twenty four it says the earth is given into the hands the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges thereof. And how to do that? Uh, through uh, a iconoclasm. Um, I, I spoke of it before uh, with um, the Renaissance era. And, uh, and, and beyond from there on, um, you know, depicted themselves as God, um, wanting people to worship as God, uh, making it that all the the great men of old, the saints, uh, from our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, who they eagerly called Jesus, to uh, our, our Father, Yahweh, which means uh, <clears throat> he exists, he is, um, in the Paleo Hebrew, Hebrew, you know, um, putting themselves as God and putting themselves above God too, you know? And so the earth was given into their hands. And so what did they do? They created these pagan holidays. They created a new calendar. They don't go by the biblical, uh, lunar, um, calendar, which represents the cycle of the moon represents the, uh, months that we, uh, we, 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 we go through. Okay. It says, um, it says, for th I'm, I'm going to go back again. It says for three, it says for three days following his crucifixion, believers at the time question whether, yeah, the must I'm going to read it for what we know his name to be. Yahweh really was the son of, of the most high, <clears throat> the son of God. <clears throat> By all appearances, it seemed death and had defeated him, but upon his resurrection, he proved that he was not just a human, but divine. The Apostle Paul summarizes the sequence of events in Corinthians 15, 3 to 8. It says when he says, uh, and that word Christ, we say Hamasiach, um, died, and all of this means anointed, died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. Now, if you go off of what Esau says, Good Friday, that evening that he was, or that, 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 yeah, that he was <clears throat> crucified on Good Friday, then you go Saturday, you go Saturday, then Sunday, that's not three days, right? So that doesn't line up with scriptures, and, it, and that's off according to, their calendar, and even when they celebrate Easter, it changes every year. Um, you know, and so yeah, it changes every year. And I'm, I'm gonna grab that too, real quick. It says Easter exact day varies so much because it actually depends on the moon. 
And see, that's a, and eat, dude. The dates that they have set, okay? Let me see. They have here. It says the exact date of Easter changes every year, but but many gloss over the reason why. According to the Farmer's Almanac, Easter's date is determined by the Pasco full moon, which is the first moon, first full moon after the spring equinox. Easter falls on the Sunday immediately following Pascal full moon. And so let's this up real quick. Cause every cause every year they have it, it's uh like this year it was on the um hold on say this year it was on the and bear with me, Salakia. Okay. So Easter was on, their Easter was on the 9th of this past month, right? It was on the 9th. Okay. Uh, so it was on the 9th of April, right? In 2022, it was on the 16th of April going off of their calendar. So basically what I'm getting at is that each year of how their calendar to operate, it changes, right? It changes. And so at the end of the day, they still do that Good Friday, which does not represent three days that the Lord, uh, three days until the Lord resurrected. That doesn't add up, you know? And so basically what I'm getting at is that this devil again you know what he what has he done in John, Daniel seven twenty five? He is he, he has he shall speak great things against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and the laws, and they shall be given into his hand until the time and time divided the times. Okay. So the the devil has changed times and and, and, and changed ordinances, uh, laws. Everything that the Lord has set before us, you know, because ultimately, what is he? He's a liar, you know. The Lord says in uh, Malachi 3 and 6, it says, For I am the Lord Yahweh, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So, the Lord is not about changing anything. Everything that he said in the beginning, he, he, he has set it to be to what, what it's supposed to be today. And this devil, you know, Esau, Edom. The devil the Bible speaks of. All right. Um, and anybody following behind this devil, you know, in John 8, 44, it reads, it says, you are the father of the devil. And it's the point of this is just to bring out this, this devil and what he's about. He said, you are the father of the devil. The lust of your father you will do. You know, so you will lie, you will cheat, you will, you will slander, you will do all these different things to go against the most high. It says he was a murderer from the beginning, and that has to do with uh, Cain because he committed the first murder on the earth. And that sea line is that bloodline. That sea line is from Cain. That's Cain's sea line. That 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 evil, uh, murderous, um, hateful uh, brother. It says he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. You know, he even lied to the Most High, uh, Cain. And the Lord asked him, "Where, you know, hey, where's your brother at?" You know, and, 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 you know, and that's the way I'm saying. Am I my brother's keeper? Come from? <laughs> he definitely was not, man. He, um, 
again, Esau is a devil, you know, um, he's a liar, and, um, <clears throat> and, he, and he created these pagan holidays, 